Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. July 30, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, reading from verse 9 to 12. And it says, Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone, when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have eat. But how can one be warm alone? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. And a threefold cord is not easily broken. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His holy words. And here the reading this morning is reminding us that it is good when we have someone that we can lean on. He says two are better than one. Because think about it. If you have someone that you can depend on, if you have someone that you can lean on, then you don't have to bear the burden alone. And the reading go on to give a little explanation. It says that if you fall down and you have no one to help you up, whatever that falling down consists of, if there's no one to give you a helping hand, it's going to be difficult for you because what? You are all alone. But if you have someone who can help you up when you fall down, then what? That burden will be lifted from you. And it goes on to say that if two, if you are out there in a cold, let's say that you are in a blizzard or in a storm and you are all alone, it is easier for you to freeze than if you have someone else in the room with you or in the same era with you that you can pull from each other body eat and so it it gives these example to explain to us that none of us is an island and i know that we like to emphasize our independence and exercise our independence but no man is an island and we all depend on each other or need each other in one way or the other. And that is why the scripture tells us that iron sharpened iron. Together, we are much more capable to accomplish a lot more than we can do on our own. And it gives an example there again. It says that if someone should rise up against you, and you have no one to stand in your defense. It's more likely that you will be defeated. But if you have someone there to, to help you stand against the attacker, then it's a good chance that you will fear off well from the situation. And also it says that a threefold cord is not easily broken. So if you have a cord, one single cord, and you try to break a cord, it will be broken or easily broken now the more you add to that card and try to break it the more difficult it becomes because what each of those cards are supporting each other so the pressure is no more on one single card because all of them now is taking the pressure so the pressure is split among all the card and so it is much more difficult for you to break them and that is why even in a relationship it calls for the wife and the husband to learn to work together and not to work against each other in the church it is important that the church learn to work together because when you are divided or when we are divided amongst ourselves the devil will rip us to shreds but in our uniting together we must be united in accordance 
with the word of God and the principles that are in the word of God. So it's not just for unity, for unity's sake. So the bottom line here is that it is good to have a support system. It's good to have someone you can depend on. Now the question is, do you have such a person in your life? Is there someone that you can call on when you are feeling down, when you are feeling broken, when you are feeling sad? When you are going through something and you feel like the weight of the world is upon you, do you have someone you can call on? Because if you don't have such a person, then I would suggest to you that you find such a person. Because we all need that kind of support to help us through the situation that we go through on a daily basis sometimes. And that is why God, when he created Adam, he gave him someone that he can share his life experience with. So he never made Adam alone. He gave him someone to share his life with. And in the same way, whether or not you are in a relationship or you're married or you are the only one in your family, whatever the situation is, you need someone in your life. And the Lord will provide that person but you have to open your heart to receive that person god never leave us by ourselves but we have to be willing to accept the help when it comes and so may god help us that we will learn to depend on god ultimately because even if you can't find an earthly friend you always have a friend in jesus and that is even more important so remember with god we are more than conquerors through him who love us and gave himself for us may god continue to bless and keep us in jesus name amen <music>